Uh, this is a, a, an event for, uh, that Mike Pence, the vice president, is going to be at in uh, Tempe, Arizona. He is selling the tax cuts and believing that they're the wind at the economy is back and Republicans back, et cetera. Well, that might be news to Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio, who's quoted as saying the, the tax cuts really didn't do enough to help American workers. Uh, let's get the read on this from fundraiser extraordinaire Noel Nick Poor for the Grand Old Party and from the stock swoosh Melissa Armo. I love that stock swoosh. <laughs> I want to say anything with you on this notion that Marco Rubio is saying, I wish it could have done more for individuals as if whatever help it had to the markets and investors was an isolated or insignificant event. What did you make of it? I'm not sure why he said that, because it has helped people. We did have a tax cut. Yes, we had more of a tax cut for corporations, but overall, the corporations in the S&P, 10% of the companies have given bonuses to their employees or raised the minimum wage. So there was that give back to people. I'm not sure really why he said this. It didn't make any sense to me. No, what do you think? Bad timing is what I think. And, and while we were talking before the show, Marco Rubio, you know, he was a holdout and he held out and even though you know he got what he want but he need he felt like he needed to tweak it a little bit yeah he wanted to show yeah, tax credits yeah. he got half of what he wanted but he got a but lot he, of what he wanted right so i don't understand why he is coming out especially now when mid you know when they're threatening the blue wave that's going to be coming i don't really think uh, right now is about saying that uh, that the tax cuts aren't working that's what nancy pelosi with the crumbs that's what a lot of the democrats that, that was like they're doing all these point. studies in the york they point that, well yeah, yeah but you, you know, what they're trying to say oh yeah for the wall street folks and everyone else they're they're, they're benefiting all of that and and listen to marco rubio because democrats are going to quote him in ads but now. what's wrong with uh that? individual i agree I guess I'm yeah. <laughs> but i'm just saying that how how do you look at these tax cuts and and the impact they're having i think this is going to be huge impact on the economy going forward. Remember, they just passed for January. So as far as the corporate cuts, they really haven't taken advantage of that because unless you paid in first quarter, if you're a corporation, you haven't really taken advantage. We just finished the first quarter. So there's of a this bug year. here in the New York Times and others start saying, oh, they're just plowing it into buying back stock and hiking dividends but and taking helps, care of investors. But that helps a lot of people. More than half the people in the country own stock. Actually, I think that's a lot. More okay, than 50%. So what, what well, you, you know, a lot of people are, 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 why is there such a separation between corporate America and everyday working government? Guy because if our corporations are thriving, they're going to be, they're the job creators. I mean, what are they saying? What Chuck are they Schumer saying? said it's, it's trickled so down and it's very little is trickling from those guys. That is not true. And you know what I like is the fact that you've got people like Chuck Schumer that are benefiting off fundraisers uh, from, you know, the Disney CEO and Tim Cook CEO who are actually on camera admitting that the tax cuts do work. Well, you know, they're grimacing when they say it. Do you think that this, this blue wave that everyone's talking about. It, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. it, it, are we missing something in these surveys? I, I don't think it's going to happen. And the reason why I don't think it's going to happen is the same thing I said earlier before we were on air is the fact that some of the candidates uh, that, that won in some of these special election, uh, elections were just mishaps. Look at the Roy Moore mishap. That that right. was a fluke. That That's not a uh, blue wave You see Republicans losing seats, but not enough to turn that. Not enough to turn okay. it. These are a lot of seats that would have to turn. And I just don't see it, especially with the, the number one issue that we're talking about, which is the economy. And right now it's doing really well and the American people think it's doing okay. Well, I, there must be something to that, right? Melissa, I mean, uh, if Apple uh, sold more than 52 million iPhones, they weren't cheap, but some of them at the top level were going for a thousand bucks or more, right? That's a lot of iPhones at that price going. So obviously people had the wherewithal or the interest in buying something. They wouldn't do that in a in a weak economic vacuum, would they? Right. We're not, we have a strong economy. I think this is just going to help boost us up. The, the, uh, talking about the stock buybacks, Apple just announced that they're going to buy back $100 billion in their own stock. That's right. huge, huge right. for that company. The Democrats turn around and say they should be pouring that into their people, hiring more people, expanding more plants. Well, they maybe they will. Again, this just started. It just started January. Companies are just starting to see that because they haven't paid in yet, unless they've paid first quarter for this year. They haven't paid the taxes yet. So by the end of Give this year, you got to give it 12 it months to happen. But people, individuals are already seeing the savings. Maybe the only reason I can think that Mr. Rubio said that would be maybe because of this. Ta Trump talked about the second tax cut plan. Maybe he's putting it out there so they can try to push something new to also make the individual cuts permanent or do something new before the or next election. But, credits, right? but bad timing, because right yeah. now the Republicans need, number one, we need unity. And this is not a time okay. for Marco Rubio to go walking around saying that, you know, he 
thinks it's an injustice in this tax cut. And well, he didn't say injustice. Well, but I mean, I'm, I'm just that's his opinion. That that's yeah. opinion. We see, ladies, thank you Thanks. very, very much. The fallout from a lot of this and how it is affecting people's views, maybe more than you think, especially with regard to November after this.